If I were to ask you a gift that you would like to receive, I'll bet many of you would pick what I'm going to talk to you about now. John Maxwell here. Welcome to Minute with Maxwell. I want to talk to you about confidence, about becoming a confident person. I find that that is a, just a big need in the life of many people. They just lack the, um, the confidence to do what they want to do, to sometimes do what they should do. And so they come to me and they ask me, how do I become a more confident person? And I would like to share with you quickly three ways that you could begin to build into your self-confidence that would allow you to go to a level that a lack of confidence will hold you back and keep you from achieving. The first thing I would share with you is this, that if you want to be a confident person, you have to take action. I, confidence is a result of doing something. Um, and so many times people cheat themselves because they lack that confidence, so they don't do what they should do, only to leave saying, ah, I wish I would have done that. I, I can remember when I was in my 20s, I went to a, a meeting with leaders that were older than I, wiser, bigger, better, faster. I was, I, what was I, 27? They probably averaged 45, 50. And I was overwhelmed by the fact that I was truly, not trying to be humble, I was truly the least in the room. And I could have learned so much from them. In fact, they gave times for us to ask questions, and I held back. And I didn't ask questions, and I left that meeting, and I really realized how I cheated myself. And I determined that I would never let that happen again. Now, why, why didn't I ask the question? Because I lacked the confidence. I thought, well, you know, it's probably a silly question to them. They probably answered that question a thousand times. I'll, you know, they'll look at me and say, wow, he doesn't know very much. And I determined that day that regardless of how intimidated I was going to become, I was never going to cheat myself again. And that I was always going to ask the question, even though it, I figured it, it may be a real stupid question. What was I doing with my confidence? I was making a determination to take action on something that I didn't feel comfortable with. And trust me, I did. I never broke that promise to myself, and today I can look back at many times where I just went ahead and did it. I didn't feel comfortable, but I went ahead and did it. And each time I took action, it began to give me confidence. The second thing that I have done to build my confidence is to share with others and help them. One of the things I found is that you begin to feel better about yourself when you help other people get better. And so therefore, there's a confidence booster in making yourself invaluable to others because you're always adding value to them. And so I grew my confidence not only in taking actions on things that I perhaps was intimidated with, but I, quote, did it anyway, I grew my confidence by the fact that I began to meet people's needs. And because I met their needs, I began to be valued, and I began to have influence with those people. And all of that process helped me to become a more confident person. The third thing that I did is I spent time with confident people. There is no security like being with secure people. You know it. You know it when you're with them. You know it when you're not with them. You can feel it in the room. A lot of my leadership has been based on the fact that I provide a lot of security for people. They just know. If they hook up with me, if they read my book, if they kind of follow me, if they listen to my lesson, they're going to get better. And, and that security helps them to become more secure and confident themselves. That's exactly what I did as a young leader. I found people that were confident, and I hung with them. I watched them. I asked them questions. I learned from them. But more than anything else, I immersed myself in the environment of a confident person because confidence is caught. I've watched it happen many times. A team maybe is behind in a game, and all of a sudden they get on a run, and they, quote, start playing over their head, and they begin to build momentum, and they, they get on a roll, and they start uh, scoring points. And, and you, you can just watch in the behavior, the, 
the attitude, the actions, the facial expressions of the players, that they're just feeling better about themselves as the game goes on. It's contagious. Get around the person that's secure and you'll become more secure. Get around the person that's got confidence and you'll begin to gain more confidence. Because secure, confident people want you to be confident also. The only people that don't want you to be confident in life are insecure people. They always want you to be off balance so they can have the advantage. So I want to encourage you, hang around some confident people, get in that environment and immerse yourself in it, add value to people, and take action on things that you fear. And you'll begin to build your confidence. I'm glad you're with me today on Minute with Maxwell.